A big fear with the arithmetized strategy is that you're going to try a number and it's not going to work completely. Now you can get good at recognizing when that might happen and when you should pick other numbers. In this case, I can see that if I make x equal to zero, which is my normal move, that I will end up with a couple of different, uh, at least a little bit of overlap, right? So all of the terms that are before that include x's, those are all going to be killed off by the zero, but I'd end up with a three, a negative three, and then potentially a negative 11, and if it's one of those negative 11s, then I might need to choose a new number or think about it differently. But honestly, I'm confident enough in the strategy that that doesn't bother me. If I have to deal with picking a new number or thinking about algebra in some way, I will, but it really doesn't cost me very much to try the zero. So I'm always gonna do it. I can do this in my head very simply, right? What happens to this, exp this expression when I put in zero? Well, everything with an X is gonna get killed off. So what do I really have? negative four minus negative seven. That's negative four plus seven. That's seven minus four, that's three. And only choice A gives me that, right? So yes, there was the potential for this to not work perfectly. Even if that had happened, I'd still get rid of two choices and then I'd be left with two and I could figure out what to do from there in various ways. But it doesn't really cost much to try the zero. So why not do it? Maybe it'll work and everything will be will be happy for you and you'll just be done with the question. Don't avoid a strategy because it might fail. That's dumb. That's a very bad way to think about the SAT. Of course it might fail, but it also might succeed. So the point of a lot of these strategies is that they work often enough that they will save you time. And when they fail, they don't fail in a big way. And we can always go back to algebra if we need to. So I, I get that a lot of you are just going to be tempted here to start solving and, and combining like terms. But remember, if you lose one of these negatives, that answer is going to be there. So we really want to just shut off the possibility as much as possible of falling from one of those trap answer mistakes. And so you've, the, the more you can just get away from algebra and put numbers in, the less likely you're going to mess it up. That's really what it comes down to. So try to embrace the strategy, even if you feel confident with algebra, you've got to get used to it because they are going to get harder. And that's when we're going to need the strategy the most.